designing the A350, Sony was going for a somewhat simplified control layout, a little bit easier menus and less complexity for the less sophisticated user. Let's take a look at some of the controls briefly. The function button, for instance, brings up only six options on the screen compared to the many that appear on the A700. Here we have the usual four-way rocker control with the central OK button for navigating menus. And the lower right is a switch that controls Sony's body-based image stabilization, Super Steady Shot. Up top we have an exposure compensation control, an auto exposure lock button, and a button that gives us two levels of zoom magnification in live view. Down the left side of the camera we have a power switch, a button for accessing the menu system, a display button that controls the LCD readouts. Press it once to blank the display, press it again to bring back a simplified version, or one more time to return to the full readout. There's also a trash button and a playback mode button. On the top of the camera, the drive button selects between self-timer, single shot, continuous mode, or bracket shooting. The ISO button lets us control light sensitivity. And this switch selects between the optical viewfinder or live view mode. The shutter button's right where you'd expect to find it. And right above that is a control dial that lets you make various adjustments. On the left side of the camera, the mode dial lets you select full auto, programmed aperture, shutter, or manual modes, or a variety of scene modes. In the middle, a flash hot shoe accommodates Sony's dedicated flash systems. On the left side of the camera, a rubber flap covers two sockets, one for a wired remote, the other for an AC adapter. At the bottom is the focus mode switch, selecting between auto and manual focus. And here's the lens latch that lets you remove the lens. This button pops up the built-in flash. On the right side of the camera, a large door conceals the memory card slot, a single compact flash slot. You can use memory stick duos in this camera with the appropriate adapter. This connector accommodates the cable to connect to a computer for image downloading. So there you have it, the Sony A300 and A350. These cameras are coming soon, the A350 first in mid-March. It'll sell in two configurations, body only for $799 or body plus lens for $899. The A300 will sell in a single configuration, body plus lens for $799.